Hello everybody and welcome to lesson 19 solution of assignment problem using improved zero suffix method. Previously we have solved the optimum solutions of the assignment problem using Hungarian method. Thus the, less, the learning objective of this lesson is to find the optimum solution of assignment problem using improved zero suffix method. An improved zero suffix method is applied for finding an optimal solution for the assignment problem and which can be calculated by using this formula s equals sum of non-zero costs in i's row and j's column over number of zeros in the i's row and j's column value denoted by s is the suffix s is by the way the suffix this method by the way provides an optimal solution in fewer iteration for the assignment problem and it consumes less time and it's very convenient and easy to understand uh, the steps for improved zero suffix method is first we have to construct the uh, matrix for the assignment problem and subtract each row minimum value uh, from the corresponding row subtract each column minimum value from each values of the corresponding column and in the reduced cost matrix the first step that means uh, cost matrix there will be at least one zero in each row and column then find the suffix value s of all the zeros in the reduced cost matrix and the suffix s is calculated by sum of non-zero costs in the i's row and j's column divided by number of zeros in the i's row and j's column the fifth step is repeat step four to five until all the tasks has been assigned to the persons. And the sixth step is choose the maximum of S. If it has one maximum value, then assign the task to the person. And if it has more than one maximum value, then also assign the task to their perspective persons, or if the zeros do not lie in the same column or row. Let's do one example to understand these steps. Uh, this example is a computer center has four expert programmers and needs to develop four application programs. The head of the computer center estimates the computer time in hours required by the respective experts to develop the application program as follows. Find the assignment pattern that minimizes the time required to develop the application programs using improved zero suffix method. There are four programmers one two three four and there are four programs a b c and d uh, let's first uh, uh, the first step is subtract the minimum element uh, of each row and column from every element of the row and column respectively so we have to just put out the uh, row minimum and we have to subtract this 11 from the first row and 12 from the second row 10 from the third row and 11 from the last row and we get we get this uh, matrix this matrix by subtracting the row minimum from each row and the next is uh, to subtract the column minimum the column minimum the column minimum is obtained from this resulting matrix so the column minimum is uh, these are the column minimum so we have to subtract four from the first column zero from the second column zero from third and one from the fourth column and we get the matrix like this we get the matrix like this now the next step is uh, once we get this matrix the next step is just to find the suffix value for each zero values the suffix value for each zero uh, value is uh, calculated by the sum of non-zero costs in the i's row and the j's column divided by sum of number of zeros in the i's row and j's column now let's calculate uh, so here we can calculate for this one uh, for this one we can denote like uh, we can denote this as s11 so we can add uh, 2 plus 3 because it is found in the first row plus 1 plus 1 it becomes uh, 2 plus 3 5 uh, 6 7 divided by 
number of zero one two three divided by three seven divided by three so it becomes like this like this and the second is s one two for this one uh, s one two it's found in the first row in second column in the first row we have two plus three in the second column plus five plus seven so divided by number of zeros one two three so divide by three and we can we get 5.6 and for the third zero that is s22 s22 so in the second uh, column in the second row one plus five plus seven one plus five plus seven divided by number of zeros one two three four so divide by four we get uh, 3.25 so using the same uh, procedure you can uh, calculate uh, the remaining suffix values the remaining suffix values and this suffix value uh, can be written uh, along with the zeros with the bracket so from these suffix values from these suffix values we have to choose the maximum suffix value the maximum suffix value from this is uh, 5.66 so you have to assign Using this, you have to assign programmer 1 to program B. Programmer 1 to program B. By using the, by selecting the maximum value. And then, repeat, delay the first row by deleting the first row and the second column because it's already uh, assigned. So we have to repeat, we have to repeat the process again. So we have to just eliminate this uh, first row and uh, second column because it is already assigned. Then using the remaining uh, table, using the remaining matrix, the remaining matrix is this one. So using this matrix, we have to find the suffix method, the suffix method by uh, the previous formula, that is the sum of the non-zero value of the i's and j's the i's row and j's column divided by the sum of number of zeros in the i's row and the j's uh, column. So here let's calculate the s uh, s12 which is found in the first row and second column. So in the first row there is uh, 1 and in the second column uh, all are 0. So 1 divided by number of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 divided by 4 is S12. S12 is 1 divided by 4. And when we, uh, for S13, in the first row, 1, and in the third column, 1 plus 3 plus 5. So uh, divided by number of 0, 1, 2. So we get 4.5. And you, you can apply the same uh, procedure to find out the remaining uh, suffix values and the suffix values are like this so among this suffix value the one which is the largest one is 4.5 4.5 is the largest suffix value so you can assign program 2 to program d programmers to programmer 2 the second programmer i mean the second programmer is assigned to the programs d since 4.5 is maximum, so assign the program D to the programmer to delete the first row. That means this row, this row, and this, the, four, the third column, third column, because it's already assigned. So the next step is by deleting uh, the first row and the last column. So the remaining uh, matrix uh, uh, looks like this. And after getting this matrix, we have to find out the suffix value. So for this, S11, uh, S11, there is one non-zero value in the, this column. So 1 divided by number of 0, 1, 2. 1 divided by 2, 1 over 2. So S11 is uh, 0 0.5. S and S12 is here. There are three zeros. So uh, there is none. There is no non-zero, so zero divided by three equals zero, and the last one is S two two. S two two is uh, there is one here, and divided by two zeros, 
to 0 0.5. So using this, let's put the suffix value in the uh, zeros along with the zero within the bracket. So from here, we can assign that uh, program A to programmer, third programmer, programmer and programmer uh, four or the fourth programmer is assigned to do C, job C. So from the above table program, it should be assigned to uh, C uh, and program C should be assigned to the fourth programmer, the fourth programmer. So all are assigned, all are assigned. Now let's calculate the time required to accomplish the tasks. As we remember, programmer one is assigned to B, programmer two is assigned to D, programmer uh, three is assigned to A, and programmer four is assigned to C. So they require this uh, time to accomplish, so 11 uh, plus 13, plus 14 plus 11 equals equals 49. 49 is the time required to accomplish all the tasks by uh, the programmers. Uh, this is all about uh, uh, improved suffix uh, method. So uh, I have provided you an exercise and you can uh, try this by using improved suffix method and you can cross check your answer with the answer provided here. This is the end of uh, this lesson. Thank you for listening. Have a good time. Bye.